17 News at 6 starts right now. All new at 6, intention versus perception. A West Michigan elementary school teacher says they didn't mean to make a family feel racially targeted with the comment that they made, but they do feel that way. Now the school says it's a tough spot to be in, one they work hard to avoid. A conversation our Julie Dunmire has more for us tonight. Julie. Josh, AJ attends Campbell Elementary School in Mona Shores District. He's a fifth grader and he was just student of the month. He loves playing football, playing video games. And when his mom asked him how his day at school was just a few weeks ago, she was surprised by what AJ said after a problem with another student, then a moment that hurt her heart. There's no getting around it. What another student and AJ Bradford did at Campbell Elementary School one day was not okay. And I asked them typically normally what how his day was at school. A classic fight for 10 year olds over a stolen seat in the classroom. But what happened next is why Simone Guy, AJ's mom says, two wrongs don't make a right. Your first question for the reprimand is, are you a school of choice student? AJ and his mom live a little over a mile from Campbell Elementary on the border of Muskegon Heights and Norton Shores. AJ has been a student at Campbell since first grade and is in fact a school of choice student from Muskegon Heights. The teacher said, well, you can go back to the hikes. Saying that sentiment didn't sit well. Like, my son is not welcome. He needs to go back where he resides, where he lives, go to the schools where you guys have in your district or your area. When a, a student is a sailor, they're a sailor. The school says that wasn't the intention of the teacher at all. Principal Kelly Ivey saying instead of sending the students to the office. In all honesty, had I gotten that referral, I would have issued not a school suspension. Um, that would have been protocol. The teacher opted to have a conversation informed on old practices in regards to school of choice. That myth is there because that practice was happening and I didn't realize there were so many people that believe that to still be the practice, to believe that if you have a discipline issue that you could revoke your school's of choice status. That's just not what happens anymore, says Ivy. The teacher was being literal in that sense of this is what could happen and I don't want that to happen. For Simone and AJ, it's important the community address this together. And I think that Apologies are accepted, but we have to think before we speak. At this point, it's time for Mona Shores to become more diverse, to be more aware that they are way more diverse than from when I was growing up in school. And it's just time to add those actions to a plan. Like we have to come up with a plan to where our kids don't feel like they're being shut out when they go to school because of the color of their skin. Because regardless of the intention, the comment still hurt. It's like almost giving me a step away from saying, in my culture, you can go back to Africa. The school and mom agreeing, tough conversations need to be had to grow Muskegon County together. We are one at the end of the day. We're one community and we have to stop labeling our communities, Mona Shores, the hikes, downtown, Muskegon. We're just, we should all just be at this point one big community because that's what it is at the end of the day. We all go to the same mire. We all go to the same Walmart. We are all one. Uh, what we do impacts each other. Um, I, I can't stand the perception of, you know, well, you know, I'm over here and so I'm extra special and what happens here, what happens in the Heights, it matters for all of us. Mona Shores does have a diversity board. Mom says addressing these types of issues, though uncomfortable, is completely necessary as the area grows and changes. For now, live in studio, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.